So I want to show you this uh, design from Apple. This is a screenshot from my iPhone 6 with one of the new health apps. And I've recorded my steps. Been a good boy and I've recorded over 10,000 steps. So that's really great. This is the chart that we're going to try and reproduce in Keynote as, uh, as a symbol, if you like, of what can be done in Keynote. This is a design, and you can see there are two gradients here. There's the gradient of the overall uh, area here, and then there's a gradient within the gradient here. They didn't change color, it's just a variation. So we're going to see if we can reproduce this. Okay, And it may be that um, for some of you who use graphs and charts, this is a kind of a nice little design here. So one of the things I like to do is challenge myself in Keynote to see, does my knowledge of Keynote allow me to do this. Doesn't It looks interesting. Let's do a couple of things now. Because it's a screenshot of an iPhone 6, when I expand it, you'll note that it really kind of comes up quite nicely. There we go. Okay. We're not going to worry too much about these lines because or the words or the numbers because that's really easy to do that's the easy part the hard part is the construction of this slide of this area and then the gradient within the gradient and that's what I want to demonstrate to you that we're able to do using the um, the steps that we have available to us in Keynote so where are we going to start well let's start with reproducing firstly this shape okay and that that will be our our starting point there. We're going to go up to shape here. And it doesn't really matter what color I choose because we're going to do that later on. So we'll start with this particular shape. The green here, by the way, allows you to change the angles as you can see there. So let's enlarge this. And you can see if we're going to compare it there, the angle is actually quite small. So we're going to kind of make it small also. And what I'm going to do is match it, basically. So we're going to use the screenshot as our template, essentially, like so. And we won't worry too much about that. Now, that's all well and good, but the coloring here is a little off, isn't it? So let's momentarily move this to one side so that we expose the area behind here because we're going to use this as our guide. You can see this a gradient goes from a kind of a light orange here to a, a darker, um, not quite a blood red, but close to it. We want to reproduce that here. Um, so let's see how to do that. I'm over here at, at the fill section, style, fill. Now you actually do have some styles. Watch this. So we already have a gradient which uh, Apple gives you, which is all very nice, uh, and a gradient fill. Uh, we're not going to worry too much about that. I'm going to do an advanced gradient fill here, which means you can change a variety of parameters. Can you see how you can change this? And there's all sorts of things you can do here. So we're going to go from light to dark, but we're going to not use gray. We're going to use these colors. So if this is my starting point. I'm going to click on that and up comes my color wheel. And there's that same gray reproduced in here. But I don't want that color. I want this color. I'm going to click on the magnifying scope. Move it over to here, to the highest part here. Click on that. And now we've reproduced it here. What about the lower part, which is this part? And we're going to do the same thing and grab the lowest element there. And now we've essentially, if you see, kind of reproduced that same element, or very close to it, close enough to suit us. So that's kind of how you can do this. You can modify the area here by changing this element here, can you, you can see here how we can change it. So I'm just going to leave it 
where it is and it's basically done what it needs to be done that's fine so we've, we've done that part that's great all right now we need to reproduce those lines that are going up and down and the easiest way to reproduce the lines let's just copy the lines that are, are in on the part behind now you could set up if you wanted to a um, <clears throat> a table or you could use the uh, the graphs up here in the charts like so to create a chart but there's only a, a few there's only a few um, areas to play with here so I'm not going to worry about that I'm going to do it manually I in fact I create a lot of my charts manually so we've got our area here but what I want to do I need to see what's underneath this so I'm going to take this area here okay and we're going to change the opacity so that we're kind of reproducing what's going to be underneath here this is where I don't see the uh, image in front at all I could set it to the back but I don't want to I want to keep it in front so I'm going to change the opacity here and we'll bring it right back now what we have here is a series of data points here and the line that joins and the gradient underneath here okay of course in science we're not got we wouldn't want to do this because you're going to have a, 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 a y-axis and an x-axis and you know you're going to be a little bit more specific but given that this particular graph is for the end user they're not particularly interested in, in a lot of the data they just want to see the pattern so we're going to reproduce the pattern so how do we do this well we're going to grab we're going to draw these lines so the easiest way to do that is just to go to shape and and grab a line there it is there so over here where it says line we're going to increase it in thickness so it basically approximates these lines here and all we have to do really is just put it there and then drag it so that it's basically copying it okay there it is there okay uh, we'll copy it and we'll paste it and we'll do the same thing on the other side now it's going to get a bit fiddly so here's what I'm going to do I'm going to change the size here so I, I've got a bit more clarity about what I'm doing there we go and it's at this level of course you can see the the pixelation here it's a bit fuzzy so we're going to grab this and move this down to here and uh, this needs to come down to here so we'll do that there now it's basically done okay copy paste and we'll do it again for this other element and you just keep doing for how many part so this this is the easy part this is where you, you kind of you know catch your breath a little bit uh, copy and paste and we're just going to do the same thing coming down here and there we go about there doesn't have to be exact don't forget we've it's at 125 percent copy paste um, yeah there should be two lines there there we go that's the copy paste and now we'll grab this line here and we'll swing it around so that it, it emulates this line here and we're done okay so we have basically five independent lines let's go back to somewhat smaller now so you can see we're at 75 percent so you can see what's going on here what's missing of course are these circular data points the or donuts let's call them donuts for the side being and so what we want to do is is put these donuts in um, because they're in fact not there as you can see if I change the opacity they're not there so how are we going to draw those donuts uh, not hard to do let me show you shape grab the circle now we'll start with the circle being quite large for whatever reason on my keynote it defaults to this sort of blue shape uh, make sure that there are no shadows you do want a border though the border is a line and it's in white okay the line approximates this one here but we now we want this to be smaller and we don't want there to be any fill at all so now you can see it's just a line okay 
Uh, we'll thicken up the line a little bit because it has to approximate this thickness and then we're going to make it smaller. And now you can start, now at this stage again you're going to, go, you're going to get a, a larger resolution here so we can get a little bit closer in and we're going to approximate it. Okay, so let's grab this and you can see here it's a little, still a little bit too big, so we're going to grab it like so. And I think we've just about done it. Let's go in a little bit closer still. There we go. Okay. And now let's get rid of this back image here by turning up the opacity so that we know what's going to happen here. So this one is going to go here. Let's uh, do a double check just to make sure that it looks okay. That looks fine. Let's uh, let's duplicate this and move this one to here. Do it again. Move this one to here. Yep. Once more. Make sure you don't stretch it out. There we go. Move it into here. You don't want anything overlapping there. We've got, what, two more to go. We'll copy that one, because I don't want to keep going backwards and forwards. In this goes to here. There we go. And one more paste, and we'll end up up at the top there. So now, if we go back into our normal size, which will get a little bit smaller, 75%, there we go. And now you can see we've got the data points. Okay, it almost matches. Can you see? It almost matches. Not quite there, but you know, I don't think it's going to make too much of a difference. Okay, now at this point, here's what we need to do. We need to make this all one shape. All one shape. So we're going to group them. So, various ways to do this, but this is the, just the easiest way to group it all. Okay, just I'm holding down the shift key and grabbing all of the elements like so, and we go up to uh, arrange and we group them. So now we've got a group. Okay, so we'll just move it around. You can see we've got a group. Let's just go back to 50% one more time so that you can see uh, here it is there. Yeah. Uh, let's move this right across here. Let's change its opacity once more. And now we can grab this here and move it so that it's just about sitting over. So. Now this is my guide. You know, when I'm teaching myself something like this, I it's nice to have this in the background. So let's. Uh, that looks good. Okay, I like that. All right. So let's bring the opacity up, and that's looking it now. The thing that we need to do is is get this extra graded underneath this, and. Uh, let me show you how I want to do that. I'm going to take advantage of the gradients. And if you have a look again at, at what they've done here, there's a straight line here. It sort of bottoms out along here, and then there's another straight line there. So I'm going to, this is what we kind of want to do. And the way to do that is a little different than what we've done before. Watch how I do this. We go to shape, and now I'm going to do a draw with pen. Boom. And we have a change of shape. I'm going to start right underneath that one, maybe about here. Draw a line to the middle layer, middle layer, middle layer, middle layer, middle layer, middle layer, middle layer down to about here and then join them across to here. And now we've got a shape. Now we've actually got a line there, which is kind of good. Now these lines we can change later on. But I need to get rid of this line, because I don't really want the line in there. Okay, so we're going to say no border. But it's still there. 
we can see if we go in a bit closer you can see there are these lines here okay don't need this let's go back out to 75 percent there we go and we want to now put a gradient in here but we've now got a shape here but we've got a fill so we're going to do an advanced gradient fill and bingo it's basically reproduced the gradient from here and we can play with it just a wee bit more and accentuate which is what I really want to do now you can see how we've kind of covered over some of the white lines so that's not hard to manipulate you can just sort of bring it down there and bring that down there and bring that down there and bring that down there notice how it's covering over a little bit so we're going to have to play with that a little bit bring that down to there and bring that down to there and now we're going to grab this other shape the previous one that we constructed this one here and we're going to bring this to the front and now as you can see we basically have it let's have a look and see wow that ain't too bad don't you think